What's up my mobs, it's your boy Callumub and welcome back to another Spider-Man PS4 video. More specifically, we're going to be talking about Marvel Spider-Man 2, the sequel, if they go about making it. And I wanted to present a different approach this time around for Spider-Man PS4. Now, let me explain. This video is going to be pretty long, so I suggest you guys pause the video, go grab some popcorn, some snacks or something, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here, and let's get right into this, alright? Although I feel like Spider-Man PS4 was a very enjoyable game, I feel like it could have been much more successful. Now I'm not saying it's not a successful game because we all know it definitely is, but if it wouldn't have taken itself so seriously, would it have been a much better game? This matured and realistic approach with Spider-Man PS4 I feel like doesn't suit the Spider-Man we all truly love. Don't get me wrong, the Insomniac did a fantastic job presenting the adult version of Spider-Man, but I felt like with this realistic approach that they went with this game, they limited themselves with the fun and innovating things you could have been able to do outside the story and the overall free roaming. In further detail, now this isn't targeted to everyone, but most people have vivid memories being a kid and teenager, that being an adult, let's be honest, the adult life is boring at times, and with Spider-Man PS4 it reminds you how boring and stressful it can be. Some things I feel like Spider-Man games in the past excelled at was making you feel like a kid again. This game at times does, but for what it is, it took itself too seriously. Now the story was excellent, I loved everything about it, but everything outside the story could have been implemented much better in my opinion, to give a much more innovating feeling when it comes to the side missions, suits, mini games, and being able to explore certain places like the Statue of Liberty. How are you going to have a realistic and matured Spider-Man game in the first place? Slap a 90s animated suit out of nowhere, or a naked suit, and not expect us to want more of that wacky stuff that I feel like the game lacked. Hell, why not go all out this time around and bring in suits that has never been seen in a Spider-Man game before? That's why I wanted to talk about these four Spider-Man suits that could be used as bonus or pre-order suits, and also I wanted to uh, give my ideas on abilities that they could use for them. So starting off, I really want to see the 1602 Spider-Man. That suit is probably the fanciest Spider-Man suit ever. It's like a British or England inspired suit. And it looks pretty fire in my opinion. A suitability that they could use for this, uh, being able to breathe underwater. And that leads on to my next feature that I would really like to see for a Spider-Man game is being able to swim underwater. I have yet to see a Spider-Man game do that. And if they do do that with this sequel, you can already bet your ass if you can swim underwater that this is going to be even better than the first game. Just just being able to swim underwater, like what Spider-Man game do you know have you ever seen be able to swim underwater? On top of that, imagine a underwater Spider-Man boss fight with Hydro Man. I mean, come on. You cannot tell me that ain't fire. The next suit that I would really want to see in the Spider-Man PS4 Part 2 is Spider-Man India. Now this suit distinguishes itself very much from all the other suits and they can add the ability to be able to parkour a lot better with this suit alone and I think it'd be a very good addition. Something like Prince of Persia or Assassin's Creed inspired, you know what I mean? That'd be very cool. Third suit would be Zombie Spider-Man. Now Zombie Spider-Man is a pretty badass suit and the ability for that would be something like maybe turning other people into zombies or eating people like cannibal type of ability or something. You know, something badass like that. And I know it has no relevance to the story but that's exactly the point. I want these wacky suits to actually have fun uh, outside of the missions and stuff, you know? So that would be a very good uh, addition as well. Now for this fourth suit, this suit sounds so outrageous, but I think it would bring so much fun to the game, is the spider hawk. Now, this is literally Spider-Man and the hawk fused together, something like uh, Gohan and, and Trunks fusion together to make gold tanks or some shit. I don't know if I'm even saying my Dragon Ball shit right, but that's pretty much what Spider-Man and the Hawk is. And just having Hawk in the new Spider-Man game would be just outrageous. But I think Spider-Man and the Hawk fused together to make the Spider-Hawk would be pretty fucking badass as just a bonus character and being able to jump dumb high and having the ability to have Hawk's abilities in that would be just so fire. Also, a honorable mention, why can't we play as Peter Parker in Free Roam? Like, none of these Spider-Man games in the past have let us play with Peter Parker in the actual Free Roam. Now, 
if you can't do that because it defeats the purpose of everybody knowing you're Spider-Man, then why don't you make a, a hoodie covering his face and hiding your identity type of civilian suit. Like, why is that so hard? That would be very cool as well. Now, in conclusion, I want these suits in the game so that Insomniac kind of just lets loose, you know? Just have fun with the free roaming. Have fun with everything involving the next game. Like, go about this game carefree and just have fun making it. Have fun. Have Make it so it's fun to play it outside the free roaming. You don't have to lose the realism of the game. Just balance out the realism and the fun, wacky stuff as well. I mean, even the swinging in this game felt like way too realistic. Like they could have added so much more versatile moves that you could do in the air and stuff, but they kind of went too realistic with everything in this game, which isn't bad, but I think for the next game, they need to let loose and just, just have fun with it. And I think the game would sell so much, I think the game would do so good, and it would outshine the first game most definitely. So you guys let me know in the comment section down below, how do you feel about this video? What do you think about my ideas? Anyways, it's been your boy Calumob, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to drop that like. Anyways, it's been your boy, and I am out. So long.